Exam practice test 2, listening part 1. Now look at the instructions for part 1. For each question, choose the correct picture. Look at question 1. One, what are they going to have for lunch? Pete, would you like some pasta for lunch today? There's some pizza left. We didn't eat it all last night. Don't you want something different? I can make a salad if you don't want pasta. I'm fine with the same as last night. OK, then. Lunch won't be long. Now listen again. Pete, would you like some pasta for lunch today? There's some pizza left. We didn't eat it all last night. Don't you want something different? I can make a salad if you don't want pasta. I'm fine with the same as last night. OK, then. Lunch won't be long. Two. Which family are Emily's new neighbours? A new family has moved into the flat next to us. I met them yesterday. What are they like? Great! There's the grandma. She's really friendly. And two children, about my age, I think. Like you and your brother? Just girls. Their dad's a photographer and their mum's a teacher. Now listen again. A new family has moved into the flat next to us. I met them yesterday. What are they like? Great! There's the grandma. She's really friendly. And two children, about my age, I think. Like you and your brother? Just girls. Their dad's a photographer and their mum's a teacher. Three. What was Oscar doing when Isabel phoned him? Hi, Oscar. It's Isabel. Oh, hi. How are you? Listen, I can't talk for long. Sorry. No problem. Are you having your dinner? I'm helping my dad move the furniture in my bedroom, and then we're going to paint the walls. Wow. Don't worry. I'll send you a text later. Have fun painting. Now listen again. Hi, Oscar. It's Isabel. Oh, hi. How are you? Listen, I can't talk for long. Sorry. No problem. Are you having your dinner? I'm helping my dad move the furniture in my bedroom, and then we're going to paint the walls. Wow. Don't worry. I'll send you a text later. Have fun painting. Four. Why didn't Nisha go to the party? Hi, Nisha. Why didn't you go to Jack's party on Saturday? Were you sick? I was when I missed the sports day at school, but I missed the party because we were driving back from holiday. Did you visit your aunt, the one who's a chef? Yes, we had amazing dinners every night. Now listen again. Hi, Nisha. Why didn't you go to Jack's party on Saturday? Were you sick? I was when I missed the sports day at school, but I missed the party because we were driving back from holiday. Did you visit your aunt, the one who's a chef? Yes, we had amazing dinners every night. Five. Where's Oliver's phone now? Have you seen my mobile anywhere? I think it was on the kitchen table earlier. 
I've used it since then. Did I put it on the desk afterwards? You often leave it on the sofa when you're watching TV. Ah, I was right. Look, I couldn't see it because of the books. Now listen again. Have you seen my mobile anywhere? I think it was on the kitchen table earlier. I've used it since then. Did I put it on the desk afterwards? You often leave it on the sofa when you're watching TV. Ah, I was right. Look, I couldn't see it because of the books. That is the end of part one. Exam practice, test two, listening part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions six to ten now. You have ten seconds. Hi. Today you're going to do your project. It's called Helping because it's about what people do to look after animals. First, you're going to do a drawing. It's difficult to draw a monkey because they move so much, so you're going to draw a tiger. Water is very important for our animals, and at 10.45, you're going to go with our staff to give some animals their water. Then at 11.30, you'll see our youngest animal. He's really beautiful. He's a baby lion. He's called Suhatu. I'll spell that for you so you can find out more about him on our website. It's S-O-H-A-T-U. After that, you'll see the dolphins. Some dolphins can live to be 60 years old, but our oldest dolphin is 37. He's about 100 kilos and 2 meters long. At the end of the day, we'll give you a present, a poster. You can also go to the shop and buy perhaps a t-shirt or a toy. Now listen again. Hi. Today you're going to do your project. It's called Helping because it's about what people do to look after animals. First, you're going to do a drawing. It's difficult to draw a monkey because they move so much, so you're going to draw a tiger. Water is very important for our animals, and at 10.45, you're going to go with our staff to give some animals their water. Then at 11.30, you'll see our youngest animal. He's really beautiful. He's a baby lion. He's called Suhatu. I'll spell that for you so you can find out more about him on our website. It's S-O-H-A-T-U. After that, you'll see the dolphins. Some dolphins can live to be 60 years old, but our oldest dolphin is 37. He's about 100 kilos and 2 meters long. At the end of the day, we'll give you a present, a poster. You can also go to the shop and buy perhaps a t-shirt or a toy. That is the end of part two. Exam practice test two. Listening part three. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds.
Thank you for taking me camping with you last weekend, Aunt Lizzie. It was great, wasn't it, Jasmine? Especially when we went swimming. It was too windy to swim in the sea, but the lake was great anyway. Perhaps next time we can try the river. Sleeping in a tent was new for me. I was worried about it on the first night, but I soon found out how exciting it is. My brother was very unhappy that he couldn't come with us. Cooking was fun. Well, sometimes. It was difficult to cook the omelette, but I loved grilling the steak on a barbecue. Did you like the pasta I made? Yes, I was really hungry that day. The campsite was quite big, but it's a pity they didn't have anywhere to buy food and things. And the showers were a bit dirty, but OK. Which activity did you like best? Well, running in the forest was OK, but hard. But fishing was amazing, even more fun than cycling. I'm glad you had a good time. Now listen again. Thank you for taking me camping with you last weekend, Aunt Lizzie. It was great, wasn't it, Jasmine? Especially when we went swimming. It was too windy to swim in the sea, but the lake was great anyway. Perhaps next time we can try the river. Sleeping in a tent was new for me. I was worried about it on the first night, but I soon found out how exciting it is. My brother was very unhappy that he couldn't come with us. Cooking was fun. Well, sometimes. It was difficult to cook the omelette, but I loved grilling the steak on a barbecue. Did you like the pasta I made? Yes, I was really hungry that day. The campsite was quite big, but it's a pity they didn't have anywhere to buy food and things. And the showers were a bit dirty, but OK. Which activity did you like best? Well, running in the forest was OK, but hard. But fishing was amazing, even more fun than cycling. I'm glad you had a good time. That is the end of part three. Exam practice test two, listening part four. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a girl, Teresa, talking to her friend. Who's Teresa waiting for? Hi, Teresa. Why are you waiting outside the school gates? My aunt's picking me up today because we're going into the centre to buy some birthday presents. Do you think she'd take my brother? She knows him. He's in your class. He's talking to Mr Harrison, the new sports coach, over there. Let's ask her. That's her car. Now listen again. Hi, Teresa. Why are you waiting outside the school gates? My aunt's picking me up today because we're going into the centre to buy some birthday presents. Do you think she'd take my brother? She knows him. He's in your class. He's talking to Mr Harrison, the new sports coach, over there. Let's ask her. That's her car. Seventeen. You will hear a boy phoning his mother. Why is he phoning her? Mum, I'm still at school at the moment. If it's OK with you, I'd like to go to Frank's house after school because we want to work on our science project together. All right? And Frank's mum said I can have dinner with them too. I hope you haven't already cooked something for me. Now listen again. 
Mum, I'm still at school at the moment. If it's okay with you, I'd like to go to Frank's house after school because we want to work on our science project together. All right? And Frank's mum said I can have dinner with them too. I hope you haven't already cooked something for me. Eighteen. You will hear two friends talking about a new cafe. How will they find out where the new cafe is? Let's go to that new cafe after school. Do you know where it is? I tried to go online earlier to find out, but the Wi-Fi wasn't working. Isn't there a big notice about it on the wall in the library? You're right. Let's go and read it. Has anyone in our class been to the cafe yet? Sophia has. Now listen again. Let's go to that new cafe after school. Do you know where it is? I tried to go online earlier to find out, but the Wi-Fi wasn't working. Isn't there a big notice about it on the wall in the library? You're right. Let's go and read it. Has anyone in our class been to the cafe yet? Sophia has. Nineteen. You hear a girl and her dad talking about a boat tour. Why do they decide to go on the boat tour today? How about going on a boat tour today? Yes. I don't mind that the weather is a bit cloudy. Uncle Pablo works for the tour company, and he's telling tourists about the history of the town when they're on the boat today. I'd love to hear him. Me too. I'll book our tickets online. It isn't cheaper, but it's more convenient. Now listen again. How about going on a boat tour today? Yes, I don't mind that the weather is a bit cloudy. Uncle Pablo works for the tour company, and he's telling tourists about the history of the town when they're on the boat today. I'd love to hear him. Me too. I'll book our tickets online. It isn't cheaper, but it's more convenient. Twenty. You will hear a boy, Hugo, talking to his teacher. What must Hugo do first? Hugo, are you free after my lesson? Yes. Would you like me to take these books to the library for you? Thank you, but actually, Mrs. Spencer, who works in the office, needs a pupil to take some boxes to the computer room. Okay, fine. Thank you. I've got to show Year Six how to upload their projects. Now listen again. Hugo, are you free after my lesson? Yes. Would you like me to take these books to the library for you? Thank you. But actually, Mrs. Spencer, who works in the office, needs a pupil to take some boxes to the computer room. Okay, fine. Thank you. I've got to show Year Six how to upload their projects. That is the end of part four. Exam practice test two, listening part five. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five now. You have fifteen seconds. Mum, you know Matteo? Yes. He's got a new hobby. He's really interested in horror films, and he wants to see every one that was made in the last ten years. Wow! 
And what's your best friend Hannah's hobby? She plays the guitar in a rock group. I took some photos of them last week. Let's see. Great. What about Christopher? What does he do? He's so clever. He went on a climbing holiday in Spain, so he's studying Spanish now. And he's having conversation classes in Arabic too. And Samantha? Is she still interested in building model planes? She gave them all to her little brother. She goes to a special club at the swimming pool, and now she can use the board that's two meters high. Fantastic! What about Andrew? He's always in a play at school. He likes playing a bad guy. Really? Has Grace got a hobby? Yes. You can see an exhibition of her pictures in the school hall next week. I think her best ones of her dad climbing a mountain. Great. Now listen again. Mum, you know Matteo? Yes. He's got a new hobby. He's really interested in horror films. And he wants to see every one that was made in the last ten years. Wow! And what's your best friend Hannah's hobby? She plays the guitar in a rock group. I took some photos of them last week. Let's see. Great! What about Christopher? What does he do? He's so clever. He went on a climbing holiday in Spain, so he's studying Spanish now. And he's having conversation classes in Arabic too. And Samantha, is she still interested in building model planes? She gave them all to her little brother. She goes to a special club at the swimming pool, and now she can use the board that's two meters high. Fantastic! What about Andrew? He's always in a play at school. He likes playing a bad guy. Really? Has Grace got a hobby? Yes. You can see an exhibition of her pictures in the school hall next week. I think her best ones of her dad climbing a mountain. Great. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.